Hey guys, Alexander the Gamer here, and we're playing some of our uh, Ink and Sun God Let's Play. Uh, so we're doing some, some pretty good stuff. We got lots of money, got lots of manpower, lots of land. Our authority is pretty high, and we're gaining lots of authority. We have 100 percent, 100 power projection. We have 95 legitimacy, 50 prestige, 3 stability. So yeah, it's going pretty good. Um, I didn't say in the last episode why uh, there was nothing Monday or Wednesday, because today is Thursday when I'm recording these. Monday, I had a doctor's appointment, a doctor's appointment, dentist appointment. It was about five. So I had to go in and I went at five. I, I don't know why I didn't record. Uh, one of my friends at 12 uh, texted me and said, hey, you want to hang out at three? And I'm like, sure. So I decided not to do anything. Um, then I went to the dentist appointment. And they told me I had a cavity that I had to come back the next day to get removed. Uh, it was a small one, but still. I went back the next day. Around three. Um, and this is the great part. Um, uh, so they put a little bit of, um, I don't know what it's called, to uh, remove feeling from your uh, teeth and mouth and stuff. Just a little bit, but I tell you, the needle, it was horrific. It looked like a, something out of, like, um, it looked like, like a Frankenstein needle. I'm talking, like, the Don Dr. Frankenstein's needles. I think it was huge. It was probably, like, from, a fully extended plunger to end of needle, almost as long as my forearm. That's really big. Hmm? And then, uh, so that in my gums, and it didn't really hurt. It just shocked me how big the freaking needle was. And then my mouth went numb in that area. And then they were uh, using a little saw thing to remove the cavity. And then I felt uh, feel intense stabs of pain on my tooth. So they had to give me a full um, freezing. And so half my chin, uh, a little bit more than half my tongue, like my entire cheekbone up, and like half of my cheek was all done. I was like forcing myself to talk normally. I could talk normally. But it didn't feel right to talk normally. So I would like try to like keep that side of the mouth closed. And talk like with half my face. Um. Right. So. <laughs> that was not fun. Uh. Oh, that's a. No, it's not an end note. It's almost an end note. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I was completely done, and they just finished up sawing, and I had to like force myself to talk normally. I couldn't. It's not like I couldn't talk normally, but I just didn't feel right talking normally. Um, and so I knew I wouldn't be able to do this for the entire thing, or else I'd start talking like this half a through, and you wouldn't be able to understand me. Yeah. So that was the problem. Uh, the second problem is I had to, uh, well, I was drinking out of a straw. I, I was able to eat my soup with a spoon, thank God. Um, I was worried I'd have to, like, get, like, a tomato soup and then drink it out of a straw, but thankfully I was able to manage without that. Yeah. I would have been embarrassing. Did want to consult? Everyone like us. I want to look at Annex Ichima. Now. Yeah. But that's why that didn't happen. So. It's all coming out today. There's going to be no rant today. Because I don't have the time to record two hours of content. And then mix them together. And do all that jazz. And then post it. On top of other content. So I'm just going to do a bunch, like, it's probably going to be like six, maybe seven videos today. That'll go up. A couple parts of this, a part, maybe two, the Polish one. And then some, uh, toaster rifles. Um, 
back to the game. Sometimes they'll give you this mission, Axe of Vassal, incorporate the country before you can, like you physically can. And so you uh, so it's kind of, you feel like you really can't do it, so you don't look at it anymore. And then you don't realize when it comes up when you can actually do it, when you can actually, like, annex the vassal, like which I'm doing right now. I'm getting it up to, up and right to annex royal marriage. Yeah, they're a um, government form. Okay. They're never going to do it. That's cool. I'm getting some money now. Per month, that's pretty nice. Um, you like prestige? I don't really need prestige right now. Production efficiency, national tax modifier, interesting, interesting. Better relations, stuff, national supply modifier, land maintenance modifier, fort defense. 1.2 a month? Okay, I'm gonna take you. Could get another, but I'm not gonna. Okay. Chima will be done soon. Looks like Jarka has only 9,000 men. They're only allied with Hoyla. Jarka, in fact, has 13,000. Trying to lead me astray, I see. How many men? I can put 14,000 men there. It's almost enough to facilitate my entire army. I can have 16,000 men. I'll build up a little bit. Call Chiqui. I'll try and get down there and group up with Call Chiqui as quickly as possible. Batch a 3542. I think he's a good leader. Military leader. And he's also got, um... He's a 5-4-6. Yeah. He's okay. Just so long as they only have Hoyla as their ally. Does Hoyla have any other allies? Quito, so yeah, I won't declare them as a secondary member of the war. Adding three, I'll bring them up to twelve thousand. Said that they had thirteen thousand men. That's over their force limit as it is. Their manpower is not that great. Okay, yeah, twelve thousand will be fine. I don't need more. At least not yet. Maybe when I'm um preparing for a bigger war or like. And I have more income, because yeah, my income's going to tank. Well, actually, these guys probably don't cost that much. Each unit of these guys. One point, or it's point one seven ducats. So yeah, I just lost like point five something ducats. So yeah, it's fine. Absolutely. 12k men. 12,000 infantry, that's fine. Getting ready to attack Charka. Of course, Hoyla will be in my back door, but whatever. Hoyla is completely intent to join them. I think I'm going to declare the war now. Just looking at things, because right now, Hoyla has rivals and they're going to go and deal with them. Hoyla has no manpower. They've already got a mercenary. They're above their force limit. Charka has not that much manpower. I should probably check, um... Then they're above their force limit, but they have lots of manpower, so as they do. Okay. I meant to change the uh, war target. They're attacking in the mountains, but... Actually, let's see what they do. Because if they don't, if they wait around, I'll just get reinforced. And those 4,000 men will attack them somewhere else. A naive relative. Um. Yeah, he's a relative after all. Don't want to go execute a relative now, do we? Okay, caught him. We should be able to smack him up pretty easily. Yeah, it looks like we are. We probably have a yeah we have a military attack on them too. Smacked up their army. Pretty much Patch Cootie's only job is to kill armies. I'll let um, 
my vassal siege. 8k men are going up there. I want to finish off uh, this army here. Stack wiped. You go ahead and siege things. I'll come up north. There's too many of them by themselves right now. Yeah, there is uh, 14,000 of them. Maps if they attack me, it'll work out. They're building up more forces. I could do with more forces as well. I'll build two mercenaries, because I don't feel like spending my uh, manpower to build it up. I won't be going above my force limit with this. I'll be only at 14,000. Oh, Quito's coming south. Interesting. This war is about to end. I'll engage these 8,000 men here. Get another, yeah, I destroyed these guys. Absolutely. Just destroyed them. Quito should give me some prestige there, or some, give me that siege there. They're destroying units there, that's fine, whatever. We're gonna completely wipe these guys out. Yeah, look at this. Getting a little bit of prestige. Nice. Detach my mercenary troops. No. My mercenary troops will take Patchkuti. Mercenary troops led by Patchkuti will go there. <laughs> Getting a little distracted by these one stacks. So this army will come down here and wipe out one stacks for a living. That's fine. Occupied that. Let's see. Cool. They occupied a province. I'll destroy this tiny little army. Unfortunately, though, they rolled really well. Because I have no leader. I was able to stack wipe them. It's quite unfortunate. Uh, reconstruction of Cusco complete after almost 20 years. The Great Project of Restoring... Resurrecting... Restoract... Cusco is complete. The land has been leveled to create a huge plaza and beautiful buildings erected. And nearby rivers have been led into the canals. This city is built to be a capital of, the em of an empire rather than a small kingdom and is organized into four regions, making it the way which we divide our realm in the Andes. The royal center is located at the junction of the regions of... And to see you, qual okay. And these regions divide the Cusco Valley as well as the Outer Empire. Great. Yearly prestige plus point five and yearly gems. That's it. Is that like a permanent thing in Cusco? Yeah, this is a permanent buff for being Cusco. Hmm. Yearly prestige. Um. Yeah. And was it legitimacy? Yeah, yearly legitimacy, but 0.5. There's lots of modifiers. Go beat them up. Okay, this war's going completely well. Huela. It's getting beaten up pretty well. Charcas is very determined to not die. That's all I can say. But it does not matter, they're going to die regardless. They have 5k troops. So Petrkudi is actually going to come here. And we're going to come and kill these guys. Unfortunately, it's coastal desert, but still they attacked me. 
and I eradicated them. Cool. Oh, Hoyla is completely occupied. Okay. Hoyla, Hoyla, Hoyla. Let's go and vassal. No. I think just seizing one province and taking all your money and then war reparations. There we go. Seems good to me. Juarez. Can make a core of that. Might as well. Okay, Charka. Things are just about done, Charka. I'll return to Cusco. Okay. Oh, God. Again. I get separatists every time I click that button. Tupac Yukui Hanan. Another great leader. Yeah, this guy's a two three three one. He's pretty good. I won a battle. I won that battle. Now this army which will have almost no manpower will go back there. Does that mean he's also a good Oh he's a five three six. Okay. He's just one point less than his dad. Okay. It's pretty good. Okay, we're almost done here. Strange. Okay. Um, win the siege. That's all we're waiting for, friend. You winning that siege. The moment you win that siege, the moment this war can be over. We don't really need any more land. Uh, debased currency. It's better prompts to maintain sound monetary policies. We have debased our currency. The Cusconian Ducat now being dumped in banks and merchant houses around the world. And the value of it is sinking faster than a scurvy ridden rat infested galley in a typhoon. But I was only printing a little. Again, inflation and a loose prestige. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Ay ay ay. We're like almost almost there and we're getting one point six per year. Well let's just make peace. I can force them to release a nation. I don't really care about that. Can make you a Cusconian vassal. I want this. I'll give this and this. Kelchkui. And we want to uh, humiliate. And war operations. And guild. Send demand. Bang. <laughs> there we go. Look at Cusco. Nice little nation. And I'm like a dominant power in this area of the world. Of course, that only remains until um, the Europeans arrive. 
And I'm like running for my life. <laughs> but Gulch Queen will be a good thing to inherit soon. Once uh, Jark is done, next war I'll give him two more prompts. I'll take two myself. Give him a little bit of time and I'll eat him. Yuichima. I'll annex you now. There we go. Manpower is going to slowly recover. Um, two more provinces will be nice. This one is a Oracle of Pachakamak. Tons of true faith, that's good. And then Coastal Center of Trade, local trade power plus 20, tax income plus 0 0.5, and naval force limit. If I had a naval force limit, that'd be great to have. Or if I could actually use, oh, sorry, build ships with it. Authority is 1.9. Excellent, excellent. Quito's actually signing their doom, not wanting anything from wars and fighting in wars, doing lots of the heavy lifting. It's quite easy right now. And I am mainly just excited for when I can, uh, well, form the Inca. Construction of a temple. Uh, the prompts of it are divided and worship various the local hookah gods. It uh, has been decided that the great temple of, the, of Inti should be constructed here as a nat natural center for all the... I lose 60 ducats by playing ducats. I gain 5 authority and gain a temple in Iari. I lose 5 authority, lose their ducats. I gain a temple anyways. Okay. I'll take free authority and a temple. Okay. Or I... Um, Patrick Goody's died. New heir, a 432. Not as good. Uh, with the funeral of Patrick Goody and on, as transited through mummification begins, once funeral rites have been observed, the relatives and servants of Patrick Goody and on will form a panka lineage lead by the deceased ruler and tasked with preserving his memory and handling his affairs. His property and authority will remain what it was during his life, and the mummy will continue to be the head of his lineage from now on. Pan Akas, a former, uh, former rulers, often remain the most influential groups in high society, and it is rare for a new ruler to rise without their support. Not all rulers are fit for mummification, however, there are some who would rather forget. Pachkutihanan Pakan is born. The mummy takes its place and has a new Pakan. Gain 10 authority and lose ducats. Or I lose authority and gain prestige, or I gain ducats and I lose stability and pretend to So I'm just going to take authority. I have plenty of money, and authority is a big thing. Look at the, I'm. I don't think I could afford. Yeah, I can't afford right now. Colonist. But that's fine. Um. Incorporate them into my uh, empire. Yeah, I still need three more cores. Okay, did part of our was Juarez part of one of them that I needed? I don't think so. Uh, no, I need Cashmarca. I need Juanco or. Chan Chan or Quito. 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 No, let's find Quito. Quito's probably the qu capital of Quito. Yep. Or Chan Chan, these guys. I also know, I need Juarez. No, Kashmakara. Kashmakoyas. Kashmakara is this guy. The capital of Kashmakar. Champoya. Was allied with Chimu Quito and Kashmaka. The Chimu are allied with Champachoma. Okay. Well, let's fabricate a claim on these guys so I can declare war on them at any point I need. Chan Chan. Good. Okay. 
and point eight authority. At the end of the month. Creation is a little process. Gain prestige, diplomatic reputation. Still one point eight. Whatever. Our manpower reserves need to recover. Couldn't agree more. Do I need these troops? Give me a total of fifteen thousand men. Um, you guys can just be the force that sits down there and wins the war against Charka. Because Charka won't be able to do very much. Because, I mean, these 5,000 men from Colchiqui, between them and my 3,000, we can defeat the 5,000. When can I declare war on them again? 81. That's going to be a while. Of course, can't declare war on Hoyla until 74. Ah, but they're allied to Quito. Can't declare war on the Chimu. That won't do very much. Oh, I could take Chan Chan and get that done. And then vassalize this two province minor and have that done. Okay. Let's work my way. Cool. Another military tech. Late medieval military. Land morale plus point five. Um Class has grown increasingly resentful of the power of the noble family is particularly their lack of opportunity. I mean there's only around Okay. So I'm getting point five land morale. My current land morale. Oh, they're referring to just. Okay, yeah, okay. That's better. It was like 2.3 before, but now it's more. Mmm, cold coffee is delicious. Should have drank it earlier. Ooh, yeah. What can one do, though? Um. Well, I want... Okay, don't hold it against me. I just really like authority. Especially because it gives me really good things. I can't afford the colonists now, so I'll probably get the manpower recovery speed first. Which we'll get very soon. And after that, I don't know. And then to reform the religion. There's something big I had to do, huh? Need all religious reforms, okay? No western neighbor. The core province bordering our core province. I will go to... This guy. Excellent. Free stability and more prestige, because we got a favor lance. Nice. Form our religion inside if we have all the religious reforms and a border with a European nation. Okay. It's kind of confusing then, but okay. Chimu of 8,000. If I declared war on the Chimu, would the Quito help? Would the Quito help? This is the big question. Quito has a truce with Chimu. Okay, when does the Chimu truce end? 71. Two years. Okay. That's fine. Chimu. Yep. That was the goal. They have a claim on that. They have a claim on that. They have a claim on that. They don't have a claim on that, so they will transfer to me. Mexico. Grain. Fish. Fun stuff. How does one gain authority? Let's check again. Authority is matter, okay. We will... Increases from owning a large territory and goes down when torture rates are granted autonomy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm Alexander Gamer. Hope you have a good day. This is the end of this episode. I'll put one more of these out. And we'll see where that goes from there. Um. 
Yeah, see ya.